Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play World of Warcraft. So, uh, we finished getting our plants up and going. I just recently harvested them, which is awesome. Uh, I went ahead and extended our concrete here. I don't think I did this uh, last time or you didn't see this because I think this is new. But uh, basically I extended the concrete out here, which I'd probably prefer to extend it uh, all the way over here as well. I think we'll just go ahead and do that to the point where we can here. Uh, as well as the back, it does stick over and it's kind of not the most lovely thing ever. I, I do want to show you an ability here as well. Um, and it's important. Uh, it's something I've made sure I don't have an issue with. But uh, you could lose a lot uh, if you're not careful. So I'm, I'm going to show you here. If you hold down N key and go to debug, usually it's on building, but go to debug. Go and show uh, structural integrity. Uh, you might have heard it as a short form as SI. And you could see kind of where your weakness is in your structural integrity. Now, I know that's not a problem because we're not going to build off of that much more anyways. Uh, our structural integrity is pretty much flawless here. You're not going to get much better than this. I mean, sure, you could play, say, this here, and this will get slightly better. But the thing is, my structural integrity was already good enough. Um, it gets quite dark red, and then you know you're like, uh-oh, crap, you know, wise. But, uh, oh, actually, uh, I don't want to do this. I don't know if there's a way to cancel this, to be honest. I think the only way to cancel is to put my body in there. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so if you were to go, say, out here, right, and then all of a sudden take this and go, I don't know, all the way out here. There you go. You see the red? And you can see even then it still can survive. Maybe one more block it can't? Nope, it still can. There you go. And then the whole thing comes down, tumbling basically. Uh, so that's a bad thing of course, but uh, you get the idea anyways how it works. So you can see it goes very red and I think the more you add to it, the probably the redder the whole thing will get, but I'm not quite sure. There we go. Hey, at least it cleans it up well for us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's the stru structural integrity, and in it so that's a cool feature. It is it exact. It, it exists. It's a real thing, and I think that's awesome. So my base does about 1.4 megawatts. It actually hit 1.6, but very briefly, like for maybe two, three seconds. I think that might have been more of a glitch. But it hung around 1.3839. I think maybe 1.4. I wasn't quite looking, but uh, at least it, it was giving us a decent amount of power. 1.4 megawatts is actually not bad. Uh, it doesn't mean I can run multiple constructors like non-stop crazy, but it does mean it does use up some of our fuel. And since we're not running them non-stop anyways, uh, we can store that power away. So, of course, we have these guys, but I think we'll expand them over time as well uh, to just even store more. But, hey, that's cool. I'm really happy about that. And so it definitely works. And, of course, this guy should be full because we've yet to have to overuse any of the power. So... Uh, that makes a de big deal. So I took down the solar panels. I don't know if this is a bug. I don't know if it's just this tool. I don't know what's going on. But uh, holy crap, that's an insane amount of plastic. I didn't think I could make so much. Uh, so I took some of our stuff and I was able to make a ridiculous amount of plastic. I didn't realize I could make so much. But uh, we have over a thousand plus plastic material. I guess plastic material is not hard to make. <laughs> because <laughs> uh, that is freaking insane. Uh, okay, so we have our projectile rifle rounds on us. We don't need more than what we have here for now anyways. I'll just throw them in here for fun. Uh, so let's keep a thousand on us. And then let's go ahead and uh, see what we have going on here. Uh, today we're going to make ourselves the drill finally. Uh, so we have a nice MK2 drill. Requires an energy matrix and a regular drill, which that's fine. Uh, I wonder if it can actually... Oh, I don't even have a regular drill. I lost that. Uh, so go ahead, make that for us, please. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious about this matrix energy something or other. So uh, what was it called again? Let's, let's do some searching while we're looking for this. Energy matrix. So... Uh, I know it's not going to be in this spot, but let's check here. It's probably going to be in this one here. Energy matrix. Oh, cobalt, copper, and silicon. So you just needed a bit of cobalt, which I think we got over time from random ways. But uh, either way, that's awesome. So that gives us the uh, MK2 drill. Now, of course, to power the MK2 drill, we're going to unfortunately need a multi or er, drill charges. Uh, you get just one, I think. Oh, no, you get five of them from 10 Promethean pellets, actually. 
that is not as bad as I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a little worse. So five charges is not bad at all. That's basically one Promethium each time. So let's just make one charge and it should take literally one in total. So there, there's the pellets. So create ten of them. And there is going to be five charges apparently. That's not so bad now. Holy crap. Not so bad at all. I'm happy about that. So uh, I was going to be a little stingy, but uh, I think I'm going to do... There you go. So we're going to use ten of them. That'll be enough chargers for quite a bit. Let's go ahead and move you here. And, uh, yeah, we'll put the multi-tool on the back here. Really don't need to carry these uh, blocks with us. So the plastic, I thought I was... You know, plastic was going to be a little difficult, hard, blah, blah, blah. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, plastic's also a good material for decorating with on your ships and stuff because apparently it uses very little weight. I don't know if I can do them with this. Uh, here you go. So plastic. So its weight on here does actually does not say the weight here, unfortunately. Uh, but my understanding is it's not very heavy at all, uh, meaning that it's a good material for you know doing decorations on your ships and things like that. Just to make them more beautiful and to work a little bit better, I guess, in that area. So that's awesome. So yeah, wow, okay. I didn't expect us to uh, be getting so much out of the drills. I kept thinking that it's gonna cost us a lot. So we just used 10 Prometheum for 50 drill uh, charges. That ain't much uh, cost, to be honest. So uh, that is good news on our uh, part of things. Uh, we have the alternate route, uh, approach the compound. You get one minigun, a thousand minigun rounds. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get that anytime soon. Uh, we learned that our butt get, got kicked, but look at we're almost done it. So it's not like it's a very long, long, you know, it's been long. But, you know, we're, we'll be able to accomplish it eventually, but not right now. I think we're going to continue to just enjoy the game and do a few things. So I'm actually kind of interested in uh, trying out this tool. So if you check over here, you know, this is be a good place to visit maybe because it's kind of light here, not too dark. Um, this is the crash ship, so it'd be an awesome spot to pick up some iron and just check th how things are. We should actually check as well how this works, uh, the drills. I've, I've tried the, or the miner, sorry. I've done the miner a long time ago, but I've not touched it since. Um, they're, they're pretty decent. They, they take fuel though, keep that in mind. And they might suck because if they don't have like the charge up, which I don't think they do, they'll require, you know, you're going to want to use real fuel later on. So the current fuel we have is eh, probably not worth it. Uh, here's the auto mining device. So you can get, I can get the second tier done. So the first tier requires, can I see it all the way? So it does 100 ore per hour. And it holds 1,750. So, yeah, not bad. This one does 200. This one does 400. So, basically, the tier 3 is, well, pretty godly. Um, crafting requires capacitor, hardened steel plate, motor, flux coil. Flux coils. Those are... Is that cobalt? I would like to see what a flux coil is. That's a power. Flux is... Oh, yeah, the savium. Yes, yeah, so it's not... We're not that... We're not there yet, really, honestly. Um, it'd be a little too expensive for us. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some meat going here. Uh, so we're going to eat this meat here. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, we won't indulge over too much here. There we go. Wait, how do we have... What? What? don't know quite why we have that in there to be honest but okay uh oh yeah we're gonna have to repair our ship actually because it did take damage originally when we got shot in the front here so i think everything's still intact which is awesome uh so we're just gonna repair this seems like they kind of go for your main uh, cockpit which is kind of good Now remember, it was the back that was facing it, so they would have clipped a lot of different things back here, probably. There you go. It looks like that's it. It looks like that was probably all the damage. The front shouldn't have really had much damage, so... Okay. So we're gonna go on the map here, and we're just gonna set up a waypoint over here. I just like to visit these guys, and it was a good spot anyways. Uh, we could also check whatever the heck this thing is. Maybe we'll, we'll put the waypoint over there just so we can check it. So there you go. 
And I think we're done. There we go. So as we fly this way, the sun itself will, or star, well, I think you can use a legitimate term sun when you're on, if this is your home planet. I think I remember it being classed that way. So like, if we were in another solar system and you live there, I think people would still call it their sun. Like, I think it is a term that you would call it for the sun in that area. Uh, if it provides you life and substance, substances or whatever. I can't say the word properly, but um, either way, the star will say it for you guys, uh, just in case someone wants to get technical mean to me. Um, I was going to say we'll keep going up till it's way up in the air and it'll go even past us probably. Now there's daylight over here, so we don't have to worry about it actually you know, completely going out. But yeah, we're going to check out this submerged tank. And then I think we're going to go ahead and uh, do a bit of mining as well. I think this episode will be just kind of relaxing, getting a few things. You know, I, I do need to get uh, a few more things to be a little more f sufficient as well. I need to get some more Prometheum, which probably means going into the scary area. But uh, we probably can go on the outer edge and stuff like that and find a, a, a nice spot without getting destroyed and sent to the Stone Age. We might find, uh, might be a good opportunity too. We might find some ores and materials and things like that as well. So we'll see how things go anyways. One thing I forgot to do is craft some oxygen and put it in here. Uh, so we don't really have any oxygen in here, but that's fine. We don't really need it for what we're doing right now anyways. So Okay, so here we go. Submerged tank. I'm interested to see what this is about. Hopefully it's not a violent thing. I feel like violent things would be... Ooh, this is actually kind of cool looking. I feel like violent things would be a bit more... Uh... We'll make sure we reload here. I feel like violent things would have a turret. It may be violent inside though. Oh no. This could be a bad idea then. How can I get back up here unless there's a ladder or something over here? Oh, it looks like this might be possible to get back up here. Okay. Maybe that's it. Maybe there isn't anything special about it. Maybe this is all it is. Kind of looks cool. Um, do you think we can... Well, let's try the tool. Let's try the salvaging mode. Uh, salvage, maybe? I think this is it. I guess there's no real meaning here, huh? Now, you could do... The salvage never gives me anything, so you could probably do the retrieve block method instead. Yeah, I don't get that. Retrieve block is the way to go, I guess. It gives you the, the components. Oh, it gave me something else, but still better than nothing, right? So... Probably shouldn't overdo it, but... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's uh, much here. Let's just dig over here just in case, but... Oh. This makes it slightly more exciting, but it's probably going to stop here. Yep, yeah, doesn't look like there is anything here, unfortunately, my friends. Probably shouldn't overuse this anyways, because I want to keep it, but... Okay, so we'll get our butt out of here if we can. Might have to work our way out here a bit. There you go. Yeah, I was curious about it, but I, uh, I was actually hoping there was a little more to it, but... Doesn't look like, unfortunately, there is really anything to it, but uh, being something like an empty silo of some sort, submerged tank. Huh. I mean, it, it's cool. I, I like seeing just random crap on the ground. Like, don't get me wrong. 
Uh, it didn't really bring us anything or any need, but at the same time, yeah, I don't mind. Uh, okay, so we have some copper over here, things like that. Uh, have we been over here yet? We haven't explored up here yet. There's a lot we haven't explored, of course, but it's not like I really needed to. So, Comaray, Fortification stuff, Unknown Helix. This is the Prometheum, all in one spot, unfortunately. But, that's not all of it, it looks like, because there's still, uh, three more. There might be one more hidden there, but uh, it doesn't look like it's all of it. So, let's try our thing first. Let's, let's give it a try, shall we? Because I really want to give it a spin here, so... Okay. Wait, are you actually flying? You are kind of. F you're not. You're not landing, are you? Yeah, not quite a good flat landing. I don't actually know why I ain't f landing. Okay, there we go. I think. Okay, so uh, it's still not as good as I I think it should be. Uh, so, oh, sorry. Uh, here we go. So we'll have this reload, and then we'll switch this to flattening f uh, ground drill, ground drill. Uh, oh, sorry, filler used to fill holes. Rock drill, flattening. So basically, this is the one we want. Ground drill. You probably want to. Well, you can come on this a bit of an angle. But already, look at the speed and power of that. And there's an opportunity to get an epic version in this uh, in the anniversary update probably gonna be a, a lifetime feature too like uh, eventually they'll probably add it in hopefully all the time but it is part of the anniversary right now so there it is and the ammo lasts quite a long time so right now we're kind of wasting it away because I'm only doing the outsides but I want to uh, I want to do this nicely in a sense. Even then, it's not you know not doing it quite the way I wanted to. I wanted to have this more slanted, but at least with this drill, you can really work it down. So we haven't gotten anything out of this yet. Huh. I thought I would have hit a wee bit of rock for that bit, but maybe we're just too much on the surface so far. Oh, there we go. We're getting there now. I guess we're kind of on the surface. The voxel style of how this all works is a bit iffy, I have to admit. So sometimes it's a bit eh. But it seems to be working right now, so. It also depends on how you do it. Like we, w I like to widen it out so you have a nice area to grab it all. But it also tends to slow down the process to begin with. But once you start working your way down and, you know, you're, you're not doing the sides as much, then it starts to really speed up. But that's how I kind of like doing it, to try to get as much as possible out of it. Beautiful. Let's do uh, more of the center here. So let's see what we up to. Almost a hundred. Not bad. I mean, the uh, the uh, the hover vehicle drill was pretty powerful, but I find this a bit more enjoyable, a little bit more easy, hands-on. You know, I'd rather do this than the other method, honestly. And I'm excited to just see how powerful the epic one is later on. What it entails to get it. It'll be one of those things that you want to guard, you know, you don't want to just be like throwing it out the window. I don't know if you can repeatedly get more though, so. Okay. 
There's our first reload. So, yeah, you would have gotten well over 200, what, maybe 250 or so per load if you're, you're, you're no right in the shaft. That is awesome. Not bad at all. Oh, it's a butterfly. I'm like, what is that? It's gonna kill us all. I like how they reload now when you fire anyways. Back in the day they didn't. And I used to hit R and sometimes I would just like accidentally hit R more often. Now I just know never hit R basically with this. I know it'll still happen once in a while by accident, but overall it should be a bit easier to prevent me from doing it, especially since it self reloads. But I do hit reload a lot for my weapons because I always want, you know, them to be full, right? So, you know, my weapon is at 30 all the time, not, you know, 26 or whatever. I just, I want to be prepared, I guess. I, you know, cop doesn't go out with, you know, three rounds in the chamber, you know. Uh, or in his mag. Uh, let's see, what did we get? Oh, 270, yeah, yeah. So this is really good. This is awesome. So how much left do we have? So we've done 50% of it already, if you can believe that. So maybe this one we'll, we'll just keep here. I know it's a bit of a waste of time, but we'll stay here till we get it all. It should take like maybe like, what, another five minutes and then we'll, we'll qu quickly just explore a bit and then we'll call it an episode. And then from there, I think uh, maybe our next episode we'll see what we can build you know craft but i think maybe our next episode might actually take us away from the planet i think maybe just checking out the moon might be worthwhile i know we have other stuff to do on our planet but i i could see ourselves just exploring outside of it the reward could be very nice that's for sure And even then we might, it might not be, you know, we might not even get out of here for the, for a while, so. Yeah, actually, now I'm thinking about this, probably take us too long to get out of here. We'll, we'll try, but we'll see what we can do. The reason I'd like to get this down right to the, the bottom is mostly due to the fact that I would like to uh, be able to, uh, if you get all the ores out of here, so if, for example, there's no more copper on this planet, you will start getting copper meteors. Same with Prometheum. If you start getting low on Prometheum, I don't think you have to get all rid of them all, but once you start getting quite low, uh, I think it happens in single player two these days. I'm not 100% sure, but the idea is meteors start coming down and that's a cool feature. So you got 10% left, and you can see we're like near the bottom. You know, it, it's not per exact science either. I guess it's like, you know, there there could be technically 10% more. It's just they they give you a little leeway, basically, to cut it off. But there you go. So now you can see it's gone, but there's still, of course, copper here. Okay, so you know what I think I'm going to do for the next episode? Next episode, I'm going to go and get more ore for this episode. And then next episode, uh, we will, yeah, we'll, uh, I think we'll go to uh, space. Not sure if we'll go to the moon or anything like that, but I think we'll attempt to go that way anyways. Yeah, we're not going to get up there. Oh, so we reloaded once or whatever. But look at that. We got 500 plus copper from that. So not so bad. Yeah, we're going to have to open a, a gap here for ourselves. There we go.
It'll take us a bit, of course, to get up here, but that's just the name of this game. See, this is the voxel. It kind of pushes out. That's why you don't get that full oomph right through everything, unfortunately, but... Okay. Well, that's kind of a cool sound effect, to be honest. Last fees on the side. Okay, good. And there you go. Awesome. So now we have that done. Okay, so I said we will we'll check some areas. I want to kind of check over here anyways, around this area. Maybe we can find some Prometheum near the radar station. So we're not going to go in to get ourselves shot and killed of course but I want to go in that area and just see if we can find anything at the same time might be an opportunity to find some new resources on this side of things so I'll go this way just to have a little higher chance of maybe discovering something of course definitely there is something definitely here to discover over in this area anyways because the thing is like right on the dot here if we don't get oh what the hell is that thing that looks even scarier than the other thing floating okay I guess we gotta get in range for it to pick up that's so freaking sweet an unknown artifact that is so badass but I don't want to be near it I'm happy that we found it. Okay, uh, that's like a whole like different thing later on, right? Might be related to the yeah the unknown helix. I want to visit it, but not this second. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. It's gonna get a little dark because nighttime is falling. You can see over here the the darkness is coming. But uh, let's check over here first. Let's see if there's anything in here. Because this would be a great area over here even if there was a Prometheum here that I can grab, you know, in a safe manner, of course. But near that radar station, I think then we're doomed, so... From what we learned, there was some evil stuff in that area, so... Yeah, I don't even like being this close, to be honest. But I don't see anything in this spot, so I i mean, it, it could be something in the other area, but let's just go around it. Something like this, I think, will do. There's definitely some new contacts over here. I'm thinking there's going to be at least a Prometheum over here, hopefully. Holy crap. The the naughty creatures scare the crap out of me. Okay. That still floating thing scares me too. Oh no, that's even worse. An alien watchtower. That does not look friendly. Okay, well, the good news and the bad news is I didn't find more Prometheum in here, so there's just the four, which the good news is there could be more Prometheum elsewhere, so that that's sort of good news. So I'm going to go around, maybe do a fly around the planet. I only have 12 minutes of power left, so i got to be careful, but I probably can do a full swing of the planet if I'm not too crazy. So, um, yeah, I didn't bring more fuel. I'm kind of silly on that sense, but uh, look at that iron deposit anyway. So I probably can get through the planet. And then, um, then from there we'll we'll come back and uh, we will we'll check out space anyway, see how things go. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.